I can already hear the keyboards, everyone just typing in anger or, you know, questioning, what are you doing this for? Well, let me tell you why. Number one, because I want to. Number two, I want to keep the series rolling, even though the circumstances aren't allowing us to get F1 action this weekend. We can still do this, although this will not be an official score. It will be a no contest. It won't count in terms of the record of the series. Number three, and fittingly, this man on screen. We can bring him out of retirement for one race or one episode. Mr. Daniel Ricciardo in the Red Bull because that should be a lot of fun. Number four, we get to basically set ourselves some different limits in terms of lap times to aim for. So we have last year's lap that I set in this series. We've got the 2021 edition. We've also got the lap record and a bunch of other kind of references we can aim for that we can hopefully try to beat in today's episode. So yeah, if that sounds good to you and that's something you're okay with, because I'm certainly okay with it, we're going to jump into today's edition of Can I Beat the Whole Time? And we're going to see exactly what we can come up with here at the Gran Premio de la Emilia Romagna. So, first things first, it's going to be getting these tyres up to temperature, which are extremely cold and it is a medium tyre, so it's going to take a bit of a, a while to get them fully, fully in the zone but it feels good to be driving as Daniel in a Red Bull I'm not gonna lie a part of me would like to see it happen but Checo is doing an excellent job so I'm not too certain we'll see that again seems like it's literally impossible to get any sort of tire temperature into these medium tires so yeah we'll set a bank a lap and get things going slowly and we'll see what we have to work with in terms of lap times over the next few laps but let's try and get a half decent banker on the board first things first so you'll know this track off by heart but anyway let's go for a refresher so the first chicane fourth gear turn three is flat we now head down to the Villeneuve chicane you want to kind of sacrifice the first one to get the apex and get the exit out of the second apex toes a hairpin lots of different lines you can take through here the key thing though is that you get the good exit as we make our way up the hill into turn 9 or up to turn 9 in Piratella down 2 gears watch the track limits as we now head downhill into Aqua Minerale double apex right we make a bit of a mess of that to be fair cars were really bumping away it was quite stiff into the Variante Alta Chicane at the 50 on the anchors sling it over the kerbs a bit of a moment there as we catch the back end uh, we're going to see what we can do now to the final two corners, the two Vrivatsas. Let's try and break late enough. Vrivatsa 1 and Vrivatsa 2, second one. And this is now going to take us up to the line. And the first bank lap is going to be a 121.9. Okay, we can work with that. Let's get the soft tyres on and let's start to improve things a bit. The boring part of the video has finished. We now are going to get into the benchmarks. So benchmark number one is going to be last year's pole time, which was ruined by rain, but the fastest time last year was in Q2. So the only bit of drive running we had was Q1 and Q2. So like we've done before last season as well, we're going to take the Q2 lap time as a reference. So a 118.79, I believe. That is the lap we're now going to try and beat, first and foremost. And then we'll move on to the next target if we beat it. So, here we go. Tire's a little bit cold, but... Got a decent bit of grip there. Soft tyres on, we've also reduced the fuel. Running a bit more engine mode as well. So the car should start to really glide over some of these kerbs and make some real progress. Up in the first sector already by six and a half tenths. Expect a little bit more to be fair, but we'll probably gain a bit more through here as well. Protella. Oh, that's a moment. Nice little catch there. Didn't really lose too much time to be fair. Akmerali. That was nice. Opened the corner up a lot more that time. Variante Alta. Keep it nice and tidy on the exit, unlike the last lap. And now we just have two final corners to go. Nicely done for the first. 
little bit wide there, just got to the grass slightly. Second one on point. And uh, let's see. First lap of the set of soft tyres is going to be a 19.7. So to be fair, we don't beat the Verstappen lap on the first attempt. We'll go for a second lap and uh, we'll try again. So let's go for a cool down lap and try one more time. VRS open as we head up to the line. Is it enough? Okay, just. So we beat Verstappen's time on the second attempt. Let's uh, let's tweak this up some more. Let's see what the next target is. I've had a bit of a look. I've done a bit of research and the next goal is actually next to impossible, which is the lap time that I set in last season's episode with a 116.887. Oh boy, I'll take that. I've been trying for a little while. I'm trying to get a really clean lap, but I'm really struggling, so I'm going to call it there. That is the lap we have to beat next. Any other goal after that is even faster, so to try and beat that, I'm now in full qualifying mode, so I've adjusted the wings, I've got the lowest fuel possible, and we're running the C5 tyre, which is actually what they would have used this weekend, so I double checked to make sure if that was an option, and it is. So, this is pretty much it, I'm running all the engine mode I've got as well, so let's see exactly how fast we can really go, whilst commentating, and then we'll try and do a fully sweat lap, so let's do it. Okay, plenty of grip. Yeah, quite a bit of rip through there, could have definitely uh, carried a bit more through the first apex. Karma feels a bit too fast, I'm going to crash and get out of control. Half second up though. Steady, steady. We had an issue here last time, keep it nice and clean. Didn't really gain that much, but we're letting the horsepower do the talking. Oh, that was nice, that felt super quick. Aquamina Raleigh. Right? was very very scruffy last time and it's a bit scruffy again but it's a hell of a lot better by the undoubted chicane oh we're getting a bit crossed up there through the entire process the tires actually getting a little bit hot but we're 1.6 seconds up got to try and be careful with the braking with this extra horsepower at the final corner we go up to the line let's see this is much more accurate in terms of what pace we have. A 16.7. Wow, we've beaten it. Okay. Okay. That surprised me. Okay. Right, let's go on to the next goal, which I believe is a 1.15.4, which we set in our 2021 poll time episode. The official pole time in 2021 was a 114.4, which is another two seconds away. So let's see if I can get anywhere near the pole lap attempt that I done two years ago. Oh, yes. <laughs> Finally, I beat my own personal best after 41 laps. I don't think we've done it. 
I'm going to leave it there though. That's the very best I can do. I've been trying for ages and I keep struggling to hook up a lap. A 115.4 though. Pretty much matching our 2021 pole time episode. Well, unfortunately, we wasn't quite able to achieve it. We did a 115.401 two years ago. So we was about six one hundredths off in this episode. But guys, it was a fun one because unlike other episodes, once I beat the time, that's it. This is one of them rare cases where basically I tried to push myself to the very limit and see as fast as I could go. And yeah, you saw the final end product and end result. So guys, cheers for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. We'll be back hopefully next weekend at Monaco with your regularly scheduled content. And yeah, down below guys, I'll leave a link to the car. Go check it out. The track is a default circuit in the Cito Corsa. And yeah, as always, a big shout out to the members for supporting the channel. Check out the two videos on screen and I'll see all of you in the next one. Until then, take care and let's go back from me.